And the last operation we are going to perform in this setup is 2D contouring operation for chamfering. So I create new 2D contouring. I'm going to select this limited conical mill, which is created specially for chamfers in, in this project. You can see this is the level of contact point uh, on the tool. It is adjusted here. This is it, contact point. 0.6 millimeter height from the tip of the tool. Okay. Oops, I need to press uh, select tool for the operation, like this. So this is it. Turn off the holder. I don't need it. Okay. Now I go to job assignment and select all these edges. So I am, I am, now I'm selecting surfaces and edges. I don't want surfaces to be selected, so I uh, turn off surfaces selection in objects filter and now I have on the selection of edges activated. Holding control key, I'm selecting all the contours. I'm going to machine to get good chamfers. Okay, and this one. This is it. I press curve. So next I'm going to set uh, top level and bottom level. I'm turning on a surfaces selection filter like this and press some surface, select some surface on the top of the parts and press bottom level and top level. So this means that this surface is at the same time a top, top and bottom level for this operation. I can run but as you can see now, nothing is cut because we need to set negative stock for these uh, contours. I select all these contours and press properties. Here we have stock. I will set 0 0.3 millimeters inside the part, minus 0 0.3 millimeters stock. Press calculate and now I can see the chamfers already. Okay, this is it. Here are the chamfers, here is the part. So if I turn off the part, I can see the machining result and the chamfers are done. But there are several more things to consider. First of all, uh, I need to set up lead in and lead out. So here I have this magic button turned on so I can uh, edit lead, lead in and lead out for every contour simultaneously now. Let's say like this will be fine for me. Okay, next I need to adjust this uh, area uh, to extend the toolpath here. I turn off this mode and uh, this enables separate editing of every element. So I will make it like this. I think this is fine. Okay, reset and run and our chamfering operation is ready. So as you can see, SprutCam is now showing stress uh, sign, stress sign here, because uh, SprutCam is uh, detecting collision, uh, not collision, but part gorge. Yes, it, it will be correct. Uh, because uh, the chamfers are not in the 3D model, as you can see here is the 3D model, and here is the machining result, and we are cutting the part. But we are making it for, proper, for purpose, so this uh, sign is okay for us uh, in this case. So now we are ready for simulation.